How the day beautiful act. In fall, a spaceship is interesting. Not being pushed. Not being pushed. You get that hat. Doesn't work. Spaceship. Yeah? And an epsilon. And an epsilon. Epsilon? Airplane. Airplane. Nervisha. In Nervisha. I won't translate that now. A little bit more ago. Who is kind of married to our club? We met Nervisha. In the next month. We met Nervisha. A beam, yeah. In Imala Metzelt. Horrible. Imala Metzelt. It's like. What's the classic way? But we, we may live, okay, she called it psychology, live, really. Mm -hmm. A live and draw, yeah, mm -hmm. learning the life. Mm -hmm. I guess fresh, <coughs> fresh, also. also. Fresh, fresh, also. A live. Hisse schreibt nur Rechte. Hisse schreibt nur Rechte. Bitte writing. Hisse, bitte. Schreibt, schreibt nur Rechte. Arena. Antin la Christentra. Well, I know it's like, Jesus Christ, I might have making you older than the Arabs. <laughs> a grand aunt of yours, a brother. A grand aunt of Christian. Yeah? Banin, doch. Great woman. Brother, uh, sister of Christ's grandmother, yeah? Read. Read me a question. Yeah? Read me a question. There you go. Dan Russell. Dan Russell. Wonderful woman. Didn't get on too well with her when I was a young buck around Norwood Town. But <laughs> then again, I carried a warning sign that time as well. Especially any time I had 20 bottles. But <laughs> another story. Okay. And Martin Bragg with you. And Martin Bragg with me, yeah. And a few other characters. But, we won't go there we, we got to know each other pretty good later. And we're great friends. Yeah. I would stay with her quite often when I came over here, as well as, of course, Chris's mother, Patsy, my first cousin. Great people. Didn't eat them. Yeah. But, in Nita, see a hot. Nidig, Nidig, Sir Hawk. Nidig, nineteen, Sir Hawk, nineteen thirty eight. Remember the song, you won't write it, you want to overload. Nidig, Nidig, nineteen thirty eight. In Aden, Mihal, had a hard and Nidig, Sir Hawk, in Aden, a week. Dynamite. Why are you not going to get it? Uh, <laughs> Even more important. Mm. But how are they going to get it? Are you going to get it? Uh, I think it's going to in Europe. No. No. What are you going to get it? Pat? Mary? No. 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 Excuse me, man. Balochon. Oh, sure. A biologist. Balochon. <coughs> no. I suppose skull. Wouldn't that be it? Or skull? No skull. No skull, I think, plural. Yeah. Basic. You make it. Balochon is skull, plural. Yeah. Skull is school. Yeah. The school is collection. So I cared the horn of what happened. In Gach Skull in Aden, every school in Ireland. Bonskull. Bonskull. Primary school. Bon. Bonskull. Mian school. Middle school. Ard school. High school. Old school. 
så er det bon, B-U-N, small school, mørn, M-I, E-fadan, middle. But gach bon school, the children were asked to go home and collect stories from mamo, dedo. Dad? Or does mama? Mm -hmm. Any kind of stories. Stories of place names and names and things. The wonderful stories these people had. Again, let's return to the language. What is our language? 6,000 years old. 4,000 years old. Six, maybe. What have we? Stories, place names, poetry, sounds. That's the language. Not the genitive case or the absolute case, or all of the other cases, <laughs> even the hard cases. Yeah? It's, it's the whole fabric around a language that has stories and stuff like that. Yeah? So, who should dwell at? And they wrote down stories, yeah? Place names, lot of stuff, yeah? Willem Karas Vite, Fier Rachatumach and this token, Malachan Skullstaff. Can you open the door for him, Chris? Or he'll open it. Your car. Catherine Gogan. Tarsadan and Below Bella. Yeah? Sir, Mam Mala. Well, Khud Mamachet. So Tushalishan script. Yeah. So Nidig Tirho. All of these came back into the schools and then were returned up to the department. And the Folklore Association of Ireland, Cumann Bela de Snaerin, have it in their archives. And they're putting some up on yes. Netherlands now. Yeah. Another fascinating thing that's happening in Ireland is a lot of this stuff that's going up on Netherlands, if you know the sites, the market. So B, or Breed, his granddad, being the young, youngest of the family, didn't immigrate to America until 1949. Oh, yeah. I think maybe a year after your mother. Yeah. Pete and your mother went together. Yeah. Right. So, about six years ago, I came across Hedelana, four pages. And Kevin who's also a cousin of Chris, asked me, could I get the four pages? So got the four pages down, and I think I showed it to him. But a glaive, reading the four pages, I noticed, well, there's no continuity there. So, as usual, being very persistent, which I am, I think Chris noticed that on the way out tonight, getting an American phone working again. <laughs> Two youngsters gave up halfway between the old guy persisted and did it. So I rang somebody in fact, yeah. I rang somebody, passed it around for to give you the first thing off of it. And uh, I rang this person up there. I went a little bit higher. It's always better to go higher. Because you could really have good fun with the highest ones up. I love back in the top. Right? And giving them a hard time most of them. Especially if they have students. Great bit of fun. But, right? So finally, I discovered that the four pages were only sent out because there was no charge for them. So if you wanted the full thing, you had to pay for it. Euro. And that's the full Makai. So this lady had actually written a whole copybook of wisdom got to do with the village. Yeah? Right? Absolute wisdom. From her grandfather, her father, sorry, my grandfather, and Chris's great grandfather. Yeah? Okay, and this lady here, Catherine, her great great grandfather. And what was he? I'll tell you what he was. 
bit cranky like myself. Yes. Without any doubt in my mind. There was a shanty. Shanty. Shan is the word for old, queen. A storyteller. <clears throat> Shanafi. Yeah? She's collecting wisdom for that. So I had somebody work on it for nine months, and now we've printed it. Slowly we're deciphering some words that are hard to make out, because maybe they're no longer in common mm -hmm. speech. An uncle of mine, Jimmy, came to Norwood in 1928, I think, Chris. And when, yeah, yeah. when I used to have a couple of pints with him to go with his bottles of whiskey in the Irish heaven, <laughs> once he came out with a word, he said, Tasha, dollar be four. Dollar be four. Yeah? So I said, Paul, it's something cold. So I agreed with him because... I think I had about 15 bucks at that stage of Jimmy, <laughs> a bottle and a half of whiskey, so I said, it is, yeah? So then about two days later, I encountered another uncle of mine that I didn't talk too much to because he was even crankier than I am. <laughs> so, so I said to him, Jesus, Jimmy came out of the world the last day, Dolly. I said I wouldn't mind that fella. That fella has words that nobody else has. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe 20 years later, I discovered Eureka. Dalaba. Dalaba is a word still frequently used in the Donegal dialect, but nearly gone out of Panamara. And it means wicked, bold. Let's return to Boston. In Boston, English speak in Boston can go to Los Angeles and say, it's wicked cold. And the people in Los Angeles are saying, what the hell are these Bostonians talking about? Wicked yeah. cold? Directly from Irish. Directly from the language. Fitting in. Right? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. <clears throat> the last page I'm reading for the first time in my life, I'm actually reading it transcribed. I had the pleasure on the plane to read it. Of course, the real reason I was reading it is I was a bit nervous. It's one of the only places in the world that I actually get afraid on a plane. Good to have a bit of fear now and again. Yeah. But the very last page he has written, he's talking to his daughter and he's saying, our father and grandfather were beaten for speaking Irish. Okay? In 1835, beaten at school for speaking Irish. <clears throat> That's a fact. That isn't any propaganda. No. I'm not as politically active as I used to be 30 years ago. That's why I'm still allowed into the USA, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a pure fact. The Irish education system, children were beaten for speaking Irish, right? And this great man here, right, my grandfather, is talking to his daughter and he's saying, our language. He has said that. This guy would have given up school if he ever went to school, right? But he was a Shanafi. He had maybe. 35 stories that went back millennia. Phil McCool and all of these stuff that Superman and Superwoman are now based on. Oh, great mythology. Great mythology. Right? You've studied some of it there. Right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And two lines he said at the end. In, in, in the transcript. I'm only giving you a look at, at that as an example. The actual printed thing that I have in my possession is saying to her, our language is, this is towards the end of the book, we have an ancient language. Your grandfather was beaten for speaking it. But what we should do now is kick all of the English language out of our area. Isn't it amazing? Here's a guy that's 62 years of age. 
right? Most of his family, his children have emigrated to Norway. And the pride he has in his language. Isn't it amazing? You know, I'm just looking at the page I have. I think they're all different pages, but this is Lee Gaelg. And, you know, um, what's interesting about it is for a young girl, she, well, she must have been 12. About that, yeah. 12, 11. 12, maybe, if she was still in national school, she she could be up to anything up to 14, but she was probably 12 because given her 1938. But in her little story on this page, at the end, whether the moon show had told her to do this or laid it out for them, how the format, she was smart enough to put down, what is a shot, all, and then um, I think it would be ahead or something. Mihalo uh, um, uh, the, the name of the, the violet. But then underneath she has Ish, Shaftuhach Mlia. Shaskahach, Shaska, Shaskahach. Yeah. 68 years. So I received this information. She's giving credit for the person that gave it to her the man's name, the village, the person's age. And then saying that he was talking about the old time and the date. And the date is almost close to today's date, in a way. It's 2410-38. Yeah. Mm. Well, isn't it a great bit of wisdom? That and then she stray, goes to he, mm. he strays from talking about shipwrecks that happened <laughs> 300 years ago. The type of potatoes that best suit the area and everything. But just to come out with a statement like that at a time when everybody would say, well, you should forget your language, yeah? Mm. Or isn't it great, the pride you have in your language? Angus Toshish and Tawakta, that's so important, to be proud of the language that you're learning or you're speaking, because there's great value in it. It's not about economic value or monetary value. It's the value of wisdom that lays within it, the songs, the poetry, the poetry. So, to fame, yourself. <coughs> Will you handle it? Have you Irish connection? Ta. Kenon. 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 Shams, as we call them. So, doctors. As you should. Cannot do it. Clear them too. Right there. Yeah. We worked everyone's by for every area they are associated with to have a look at Balakon and Scott. Schools. Fierce interest. Have you studied Mary? Have you got into any. No. I've seen some of it on, on the and, internet, yeah. and I've, I've read some of it, and, you know, it's very interesting to read. Oh, yeah. uh, what's his name? The author, um, Jackie McDonough, is doing a modern version of that with the children in the he schools. Is, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. yeah. But that, that, uh, that amazed me when it came down. But that was a great idea. Because I, I kept going until I got the top guy, and he said, well, you have to pay for it. Like, <laughs> so I said, how much? I said, 25 euro. Yes, I said, that's all right. I sold the old donkey last week and I got 50 euro. <laughs> 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 so, more to the head, I send this out to Yeah. And that's what I ended up with. So now what we propose to do is read it in the village, in our village, and see can we fill the gaps. Do you know what I mean? Come together women and the men that are interested. Fill in the gaps. Because that is the social history and the wisdom that's in there. It's unbelievable. It's how, how many other children contributed to the story? Annie Mountain Spittleberry, yeah. yeah. Annie Mountain Spittle, but she, she went 
Jesus, she went a she little went, bit. She, he went, she went, went to town. What's the baseball term of going outfield or whatever you go? She home run. run. She did a home run. Grand slam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, what did she do? She filled the copy book. Jesus, a like, copy book cost money at the time. That's true, too. Look at the beautiful ribbon man that she yeah. has in there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wonderful. 1938, a young lady, 12 years of age. All her siblings had, her, her, her sister Mary, Chris's grandmother, this girl's great-grandmother, had already gone to the States in 27. Returned home in 32 to see her mother before she got married to this man's great-grandfather. Brilliant man, spoke Irish. Had to leave the country in a hurry in 1922. You backed the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was a but few Sean, people I, chasing him. <laughs> you know, I always thought that Pat was from Toon. No. Right, when we went when yeah. we went a uh, few yeah. years ago, we found out that it was, Toon is the big city, but all the villages surround it make yeah. up Toon also. And, and they still have Gaelic there. The, and right beside them, they have the hill, the fairy hill, Crook Bell. Crookville, where the last of the fairies <laughs> went in. Yeah. Wasn't the proper name of Chun, Chun Hua Wollin? Hua Wollin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chun Gu Lin Yuan, Crookville. The, the mountain. Yeah, the mountain. That's yeah. the fairy mountain. Yeah. yeah. And people laugh at that. But oh. That's a great story, though. You know, Finbar, the king of the fairies, that bad bastard that's seven foot nine inches, has a terrible schnauzer on him. He lives in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And again, that's associated with the race of people that were overcome by the Miletians, the people that came from the north of Spain with the language. So when they suppressed the Tuvidedana, they drove them underground, and they became unslua chi. Slua chi. Slua. Slua, the crowd. Chi. Very good. Yeah. So she. So this is where you have a hill, Tum Rawolin. It's in the flattest part of Ireland. It's mm -hmm. totally plain. <laughs> no disrespect to where you come from now, but I'm a young tranquilizer for dying. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't there, there's no mountain. It's <coughs> flat. Right here we have Crook Mel, where this man's people came from, his father's name. And you have all of this lore got to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is phenomenal. The amount of stories of lore that's there. And so she, yeah. So she shouldn't broad. But shouldn't spatial for she. Not only is it is there um, pride there, but there's interest there. The amount of archival stuff that we have. I forget what Heaney, the poet, the great poet said. I can't even quote him. But, but he, he had a beautiful four words. Michal, can you remember it right? Well, what he said is, to not know Irish is to... I forget, you should Google it. It's, it's a famous speech that's there. To, to, to not having known Irish or whatever. And he didn't speak it fluently. No. But what he says is, that's, that's the shame. Not knowing it is where you're losing out on a lot of what you are. Your essence, even if you don't speak it, it's your essence. What's the Irish word for essence? Good, very good. <laughs> now, essence, let's see. Mary? I shouldn't No, I didn't know. Ni. Uh, Ni. Ni. Mm -hmm. As in Eni Father. Yeah. Where are you getting that? Um, can I can spirit and arm um, the spirit. Okay, Ni. Yeah. N I D H, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, Mary. Yeah. Love it. Ni. Ni. Ni comes from nya, which is a thing. Yeah? Or it's in Chanapo, I think. Yeah. 
knee. Yeah. Uh, fair play to me. Now you have to read that. That's your contribution. Pro bono and second, or can we get this? Because essences, we have a lot of words for essence in Irish. We have more words for essence in Irish than any other language, except for Mandarin Chinese, which is ancient as well. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I love this one. Mm. Mm. It's about the same probably. Mm. That's your essence. That's, that's who you came yeah. from. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's who you are. Who you are, right? Mm -hmm. And I leave you with this. Yeah. You know the Queen, Queen of England, her fa favorite saying, once a year, she says, when she's looking down at the night, she's oh, no. <laughs> when she's looking down at her subjects and, and she calls Boris in, oh, and she says, spashing. <laughs> it's a favorite it's word, just yeah? it's 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 smashing. It's smashing, old boy. Yeah. Or Jesus, if they knew where it came from, she'd never say it. <laughs> <laughs> because it comes from this. It's my chin. It's my chin. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. We gave them about seven or eight thousand words. But if she knew that, now she wouldn't say it at Christmas. <laughs> I didn't tell her that yet. <laughs> Right, now what shall we ask? Mm. Mary, I was passed, I was read on. I was in the Nella. Please translate that. Yeah. Then I'll tell you where it's written. You in them are called the harp mohinchi. Not in me, but let's free the God. Boys. Boys. Member. Member. Oh, member. Oh, then, oh, oh. Nothing within me. I am within myself in a way. Within myself, I am but a member of the body of my ancestors. Brilliant. Neil mm Olam. -hmm. There is not in me. Neil Olam. There is not in me. Ah, but. All. A member. Component. Mm -hmm. Member. Mm -hmm. All. The of the body. Come. Body. Come. The body. Mohinche of my ancestry. I am but a component of the body of my ancestry. And that's written on the grave of our greatest Irish language poet, or one of them. Sean O'Rear oh, yeah. If you go up to Gubnitz, Gubnitz Church in West Cork near Coolé or Balawurnia, there's a big climb up, a little old church up there, little cell church with the roof made of stone as well. Gubnitz. Of course, Gubnitz, female sound. Yeah? 
And that's the reason I'm the, he's great stone. Nilona mach bal the chot mahinchur. I am but a component of the body of my ancestry. Kesht? Well, she gives you a sec. Well, Collect them all together because and, and, and I can give anybody that wants access to any of them or whatever, you know. No, email, email a Kodagan, not Tangwal, Pat, Mihal, any of them that want to keep in touch. And five of these Zagan, we don't keep in touch. Yeah. 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 Fair play, Don Mansion. Fair Hun Mansion is Martha. When we asked her to keep in touch, why did she keep in touch? <laughs> yeah? And fair play. Fair play, yeah. I guess we fall through the money, you were always well. It was. Yeah, well, that's the way to be. Stick in there. <laughs> So Mary, can you can you pass? I'm a gentleman. Magalor. Yeah. It's a down there ball. The mission to their pizza. Yeah. 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 Oh, Marga. Nach lawr of mudain fuckle berla. Kanal dukhwa. We have a little challenge between us coming in to the airport before we got on the plane. I said, we'll have a challenge now. Skip your fuckle berla in the language. So I've already broken it, but we have a bet on it. But we'll see how it goes. Mar degwari, bin degwari gusad galur fuckle berla. This is more packa. Some of the teenagers use it. <laughs> and Econamara, uh, some have a hybrid lab air like that. Mm -hmm. No, if you share realize all to have them. More packa. Mm. <coughs> Mary, can so, you ash to the play? Any that want to go to the play it might be a challenge. And if he could sit, maybe, beside somebody, let them on the it be worth it. But it's a challenge to, because that's where it's at, to see a bit of theatre, a bit of live, raw theatre. And this play, if I say so myself, and I'm very modest, <laughs> it's a powerful play, one of the most powerful plays that's Gaelic that has been done in Ireland, without any doubt. Some of the language is a bit coarse, a bit raw, as you'd imagine. Well, it's a powerful play, and I think when you see a play like that being performed, that's Gaelic. Then you say it, or it has been said about it that it's as good as any English play that was performed in Ireland in the last three or four years, and that's where it's at. That's the challenge. See, a lot of Gaelic girls in Ireland are saying, "Ah, plan all tamgo, you know, is linen tamgo and stuff." No. For the language to survive, you have to be as good or better. You have to produce. That's important. You cannot make an excuse in the language and hide behind it. As good or better. And we've at least 5,500 years of a start. <laughs> So the first word here is Shamakwa, which is the plural of Shamakwa, which is a proverb. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so 
the one that we had before. Yeah, the one, one that we just um, heard, the one about the, um, I'm a member of my aunt's and she's that's a uh, proverb or shamrock of and so is this one, and this one is really big right now because the Irish language, people are saying that it's going to die and stuff. So, tear gone, tango, tear gone, all of a country without language is a country without soul. Mm -hmm. All of So, country without language, country without soul. I have one. Oh. Got a meal of my Got a meal of my Good. Yeah. I guess. Sate. I'm off to the Okay. Or baked here. Yeah. So we'll thank you very much. And we'll. Anybody? <laughs> we have tea and cookies. So. And we can have a couple of poems afterwards. A couple of poems, yeah, whatever, yeah, absolutely.